Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, 11. So Amanda and I have been doing what probably a lot of you guys have been doing. When we go to the grocery store and when we buy our bread, we've been freezing it. And both of us being home a little bit more often, we've been going through the bread a lot quicker and we don't want to run out to the store every time we go through a loaf of bread. And I realized as I was been reflecting and praying through this line of the Lord's Prayer, give us today our daily bread. So many times in our own life, we're always planning for tomorrow. And in some aspects, that is a good thing. You know, I, I have enjoyed freezing our bread and not having to go to the grocery store as much or running to Wawa as much. But I think there's times in our faith when we hold on to these different things that God is calling us to let go. And we need to realize that Christ will meet our needs today. And as we get further down on this passage, whatever reason, as I was reading through this, it just jumped out to me. First, we, are, we pray, give us today our daily bread. And then it says, deliver us from evil. First, God sustains us before he delivers us. I think too many times in our own life, we want to be delivered instead of sustained. But as we read through this passage, we realize that God is calling us to sustain instead of always be delivered. And there will be times when God will work through something, when God will pull us out of ways. But there are also times, and I think like right now, where God is sustaining us right where we are. And as we look down further in Matthew 6, as we read through the Beatitudes, I think of, of verse 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for today will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own troubles. We have enough troubles today to worry about tomorrow. And we don't like being in waiting periods. And I feel like I've been living this out the past couple of years in my own life. I know, and I've shared before, when Pastor Darrell announced his retirement, I began to think at that point in my time of, where is God calling me? And that was back in January 2018. And it took two years for God to reveal his calling in my own life. And during that time of just waiting and reflecting, I wasn't praying, give us today our daily bread. I was praying, Lord, deliver me from the waiting. And I realized that so many more, we need to be focusing on being sustained, being sustained by Christ. And what does he tell us that we need to focus on just in verse 33? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. We need to seek his righteousness, seek his kingdom today and not necessarily for tomorrow I, I think now as we've made it public to our church as our church council decided to gather and meet we're going to be regathering on july 5th and it is a time of excitement it's also a time of anxiety but realizing that god is still calling us today to minister and so i'm thankful for everybody watching these videos and has an opportunity to join us for our wednesday devotional and realize that we need to focus on where has god placed us today and we do need to prepare. I really hope that our, our church leaders take a lot of time and focus preparing for that July 5th regathering so that we can make sure that we have a wonderful and safe worship experience. But we also need to be focusing on today and where God has placed us. And lastly, I think of Philippians 4, 19, a verse we all know well, which says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory. In Christ Jesus, our God will supply all of our needs today. We need to continue to hold on to that. More importantly, above all else, God wants to sustain us before he delivers us. If you would join me in praying. Father God, I know we all have been running this marathon as we've been trying to figure out what is next. But Lord, you call us to run with endurance Lord, I pray that you can continue to sustain us, that we will not worry about freezing our bread, Lord, freezing our daily needs, but we can just focus on where you have placed us today and following after you. Lord, I pray that as we do begin to regather, just that we can make the decision that's best for us and for our family, that we will not feel pressure either way to stay home or to come to church, but that we can just be prayerful about the decisions that we need to make and move forward in that. Lord, I pray that you can continue to protect us, sustain us, and deliver us. In Christ's name I pray. Amen.
And our last two questions for discussion are just simply, when is a time when God has delivered you? And when was a time when he sustained you? And how is God giving you your daily bread today? As always, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate interacting with you, engaging with you. Hope this word was just an encouragement to you on this Wednesday afternoon. As always, take care, stay well, and God bless.